It's the last weekend of the season. Obviously, there's quite a few people on as a result. Um, turn up when I turn up, there was two on. Turn up on the Thursday morning, ready for the weekend. And there was already two on, and they were really in the two swims I fancy going in. Um, because we knew it was going to get busy, I went in uh, to the left of one of those swims. Wouldn't normally do that, but it was going to get rammed out, whatever. And by Thursday afternoon, pretty much all the swims were taken by two, I believe. As soon as I turned up, put the rods out. Uh, knew the sort of area I wanted to be fishing in, just put a little funnel web bag on and wanged it out there. There's a bar running down the middle of the lake. Uh, I had a 33 pound common, 33 and a half, straight away. Literally, I'd been out there for an hour. Someone was standing in my swim and had a real funny little sort of series of bleeps on the right hand rod. Nothing moved, you know, and he was sort of looking at me saying, Oh, is there something wrong with your buzzer? Because nothing moved at all. And I said, Well, I don't normally do that. And literally, within seconds, it pulled up to the top and I was in. Uh, cracking fish, real long torpedo. Thought it was bigger than that in the water, you know, but it just didn't have a gut on it. James to my right, he then literally as that fish went back, it was just sorting the mat and the bits out and um, his rod roared off. He had an absolutely cracking 30 pound, a real pretty fish. Um, and then he went on to have another three that day. No, another two, which consisted of a 25 and a 23, I believe.
Give us a big celebration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice one, guys. Well done. And then um, the next morning, same sort of time, 10, 11 o'clock, uh, all the action started again. James was into another fish, definitely one of the ones that I'd like to catch out of here called Old Vic. Absolutely stunning, scaly fish, old fish as well. Um, it, it don't get caught that regular. It does come out, you know, but it's not, um, you know, not a mugfish. And uh, there are a few in here like that. I had a good look through someone's photo album last night, and they were pointing out quite a few fish that do the disappearing trick.
What's going on here? Does it not take him? No. Oh. Sometimes does it. Just flick it off and on. It's going to show it, eh? Sometimes I have a habit of just turning it sort of itself off. Getting a bit of glare off that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you say to that then? <laughs> Lovely. Good stuff. Good angling. And then literally just put a camera on this morning. I'm not sure how hard he's playing that fish over there. The rod looks fairly bent over, but he's um he's had this on for quite a while now, even before I stuck the camera on, so as you can see he's uh he's in what looks like quite a good fish. Oh and uh, a guy, Staffy Paul I call him. He's up the top end, weren't the swim, he sort of like wanted first choice, but it's a nice little quiet area on a busy weekend. And he managed to catch a 33 pound common as well. Um, so all in all, so far, I'm off today, it's Saturday today. Um, and they can fish through to, I believe, Tuesday morning. But yeah, I think there'll probably be a few more out there. The actual temperature's rising, the wind's dropped now, but the temperature's rising nice. And it's looking good for them for a few more. A very, very good end to the season. A very, very good end to a very, very good season. There have been a lot of fish out of there. I'd like to see this guy catch a chunky. I think he used to fish the lake a long time ago. Oh yeah, it looked like a nice fish. Hard to obviously tell from this distance, but when it rolled down, it looked quite nice. We'll see when he lifts the old net up. Didn't look too bad. It didn't look massive, massive, but it didn't look too bad at all. 